What's up, Sneaky Nation? Sneaky P here, back with all of the news after week number three of our Oakland Raiders franchise. The Raiders just dropped a close one in Foxborough against the Patriots, but even though we got the loss, there were actually a lot of positives to take away from the game. A lot of our young players, especially rookies, stepped up in the game. We saw Derek Carr come into the game. And he threw a 98-yard bomb to Denarius Moore. He ran for a touchdown. We had Shelby Harris, the seventh-round draft pick, at two sacks, return a fumble for a touchdown. So there really were a lot of positives. I mean, even Khalil Mack led the team in tackles. So I'm really excited about all that, guys. But next up, we have to focus on our next game, which is the Miami Dolphins. Now, the Raiders are 1-0 at home so far this season. And going against an 0-3 Dolphins game definitely gives me a little bit of confidence that we might be able to win this game. But it's all going to come down to game prep let's go ahead and jump right into that guys earn xp you know going over the other team's playbook or stuff like that you know preparing for Deion jordan specifically as is recommended right here you know that's all really good but for a young team that's mostly working on improving we need to shoot for gaining experience for our players you know if they're not making plays in the game their experience might not be getting up all that much so the more XP we can get to continue to develop these players is going to be very, very important. So let's go ahead and do that. Again, we're going to have to focus on the cornerback here. I don't want to get beat on plays anymore. And, you know, we saw LaFell burn us on one big play last game. Granted, the other play was a good touchdown by them. But definitely stuff I just need to work on and improving our pass coverage and things like that. So let's go ahead and... Work on Hayden and McGill to start. Again, we're going to go with Derek Carr, Khalil Mack, the usual suspects pretty much are the guys we need to focus on here. So let's go find, let's see who we should look for next. Develop promising. I like doing that a little bit more than just the linebacker position in general. I feel like they get a little bit more attention this way. And it seems to result in more XP for them. So that's very, very key. Uh, again, let's just find uh, quarterback. There we go. And that's going to be 10 hours. I don't think I have enough. I don't have enough. No, oh, wait. I won't have enough after this. Okay, I do. Derek Carr. Let's get him some more experience. So I asked you guys at the end of the last video who you think should start. Um, and, you know, obviously Derek Carr, you know, he led the poll there. So I will start. We'll, we'll go ahead and do that really fast. Um, before we get into that, actually, let's go ahead and look. At, oh, can't do the game planning. Um. I do want to show you this. This is pretty cool, though. Uh, I can't really do anything here. I just want to go to that screen. Ah! Let me get back to that other screen. Where is it? Improve confidence. Here we go. Um, it's not going to let me do anything, but I'm wondering if it's going to show me the, the past confidence. It's not going to show it to me. Wow, okay. Oh, uh, I'll have to show you guys next week, I guess. Usually it'll show you uh, all your progression and confidence uh, changes and stuff like that, which is really interesting. I wonder if I can do it under Develop Players. That might show it to me here. Oh, wait. This is look weird. Look at this. Look at the team goals. Uh, team rushing yards, 2,600. That's insane. That's ridiculous. I, like, I don't understand why they're giving me these goals. Now, I feel like if you complete these goals... That player earns a lot more XP, if I understand this correctly. However, 2,600 rushing yards is not going to happen. It's just not. It's not going to happen for me. Uh, he's only looking for 2,100. That's doable. Uh, probably not going to happen with me, though. Not this year, anyway. Uh, 14 sacks for Justin Tuck. Okay, that, that's possible for sure. Um, let's see. Team passing yards, 4,500. Like, that's, nah, that's not going to happen for me right now. Uh, 75 tackles for Khalil Mack. That's absolutely uh, doable there. Uh, King, I think we could do that. Smith tackles 40. That's something he could do. Uh, not looking good so far on that, but 36 field goals. Like, that's insane. Uh, some of this stuff is really, weir really, really weird, but, you know, we'll do the best we can on them, guys. I was just thinking it was funny scrolling down. I'm like, man, like 130 catches for two different players? That's, uh... We'll see what we can do as time goes by, though. Development history, confidence changes. Yeah, this is what I wanted to show you. Okay, look at this. So I should have contributed more because Osbury, he really didn't do much against the Patriots at all. So he lost three for that. We lost a close one. He lost three more. Uh, Barnes, so he only, we lost a close one. He only lost one point there. So it's interesting to see the different personalities and how a loss affects them. I should have had an interception, which Branch dropped two interceptions, actually. So that's really cool to see that, and that plays a factor into this. 
Um, confidence is definitely something we're going to have to work on in the future. It's something that you work on more with veterans that you need to contribute. Uh, Shelby Harris, I got two sacks. I scored a touchdown on defense. So for the week, he actually went plus five. So that's really cool. Janikowski missed a field goal. Uh, uh, James Jones, he didn't really contribute much. So that affects his confidence. And all that stuff is really cool. Again, King got a pretty good game. So his confidence is at 99. Man, he is uh, happy with himself. But... You know, it's really kind of cool to see all of that stuff and how that plays a factor into the game. Right now, I'm mostly focused on developing young players, but we'll definitely get there in the future in terms of uh, the things we will be working on. So, yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and check out the draft stories for the day. And defensive back Rashawn Hogan has been the key to Georgia's success defending the pass. He's playing shutdown coverage recently. Definitely somebody to keep an eye on guys. I want to have one of the best defenses in the NFL and I need a cornerback I need to shut down cornerback. I don't have that right now. So Definitely out of all the uh, draft stories so far. He's the one to keep an eye on again I kind of want to save up some recruiting points. So we're not going to scout at all this week We will get there in the future though uh, Players progression guys. I promise you the only thing I'm really doing right now is focusing on awareness for defenders I haven't really been getting a whole lot of points to work with uh, but awareness is definitely going to be a key factor in making sure the players are where they need to be so we don't leave wide open spaces all over the field and have blown coverage. Uh, the prices and everything like that, guys, we uh, tinkered with it a little bit recently, and we have a home game coming up. So we'll kind of see how all that does. If we need to work on it more, we absolutely will. That's not an issue. Uh, but I just kind of want to see if what we changed last time has any effect on the game coming up for the future. Injury report. I don't really think we have any injuries. We're going to change uh, our sliders for that, though. Somebody had requested that I change the sliders to turn injuries high, a little bit higher. And that way, if we have a big-name player go down, we'll have to see how our young team can adjust, which I'm excited about. That's a challenge I definitely would like to face. So let's go ahead and do that now and change some sliders around before I forget. Sliders, here we go. Uh, a few things I'd like to change. One is interceptions. You know, we had two or three dropped interceptions, probably only two, uh, that last game. One of them would have been a pick six, and that's a little bit frustrating when it's an obvious interception. So we'll definitely turn that up. Uh, one thing that worries me, though, pass blocking. We have been putting pressure on the opposing quarterbacks like crazy. So I definitely wanted to increase the other team's pass blocking, but as you can see, it's already at 100. So I don't know what to do. If you guys have any idea as to how to make that more challenging, Please let me know in the comments because I can't figure it out. Pass blocking would be my go-to. There's nothing over here about rushing, so I don't know about that. Let me know if you guys have any ideas as to how to make that a little bit more challenging. Uh, I'll turn their run blocking up a little bit. I'm worried because I don't want them running all over me again, but maybe that'll help in some way. I don't know. Uh, we'll turn their interceptions up as well. And now down to injuries. Uh, it was requested that I turn it up to like 90, but I don't want half my team going out. We'll turn it up to 55 to start. And if we don't see some of our players get hurt, you know, we'll come back here and make it higher next week. Uh, not that I'm rooting for an injury on any of our players, but I definitely would like that challenge of if somebody goes down, who's going to step up? That's part of the reason why I've made so many moves tinkering with my bench and stuff like that because I want to have guys on the bench that I can trust to come into the game, so... That's something I want to turn up. I'll definitely turn up fatigue a little bit more as well. That way we don't see Maurice Jones-Drew getting a ridiculous amount of carries. I need to get uh, McFadden evolved a little bit more. Everything else should be okay. Other things I'd like to change really fast. Uh, let's, where would that be at? Let's go back here. And let's go to... Would it be edit owner? I don't think it'd be under edit owner. No, definitely not. I'm trying to figure out where we can change schemes. Because that is something I'd like to do. Um, many of you guys mentioned that uh, Khalil Mack would succeed in a 3-4 defense. So, I'm a fan of the 3-4 defense anyway. I'm a 49er fan. So, I have no problem switching up our scheme a little bit. I need to figure out where to do it, though. Maybe it's under managed roster? I don't know. That doesn't seem like a scheme type thing. It's not. Okay. Where would that be? Maybe it's under settings. I don't wouldn't see why it would be. League settings, user teams. No. There's got to be a way to change the scheme, right? Wouldn't be under any of those. 
Uh, we might have to wait until next week to change the scheme because I'm sure you guys are fully aware of where that would be. And I'm probably overlooking it and I'm probably just sitting here looking all stupid or whatever, but I can't find it. I don't know where it would be. Um, so yeah, if you guys know and you're aware of where that I could find that, please let me know and I'll just change it next week. Another week's not a huge deal. Uh, in terms of free agents, there are some players I would like to pick up. As you can see, we are in the negative funds right now. So this next home game is going to be very, very important, trying to bring in a little bit more money. Uh, all the stats and stuff, I decided I'm going to wait until, as you can see, Justin Tuck is at least tied for the lead in sacks. Um, but yeah, all the stats and stuff, we're going to wait till week number five to do that. I have a bye week then anyway, so that way... I can focus that news video on showing you something new as opposed to uh, just being a little bit repetitive. But, yeah, that should be it for this video, guys. Again, if you guys could help me out with the whole pass blocking thing and scheme change thing, that would be awesome. I know it's around here. I just don't want to spend more time looking for it. I'm not too worried about it at the moment. So, I'm sure I can wait another week and uh, I'll be okay. But, yeah, thank you so much for all the support, guys. Y'all are absolutely amazing. I really do appreciate it. And, yeah, I will see you guys in week number four as we take on the Miami Dolphins. Later. I'm back. I realized I never never changed the depth chart around. And uh, Derek Carr is going to be our starter moving into week four, guys. Now, that's not to say, you know, he's going to be starting the rest of the year. We're going to give him a shot. You know, if he has a bad game, we might throw Schaub in or, you know, if he just strings like eight good games in a row you know his job will be safe but we'll see how he does you know he's still a rookie he's going to have his ups and his downs but i'm excited uh he played really good uh in his opportunities so far so let's see if he can continue it during his first start later